guys. Welcome. Happy Thursday. How's everybody doing? Let's see. Dino. Hello, Dino. Hello, Lima. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sherry. How you guys doing tonight? Oh, let me make sure I put it on um, all chat. Welcome in. Welcome in. Say hi. You don't have to be shy. Everybody here is welcome. Sherry said, hey, Mama and Iris. Sean, you're Photos were absolutely stunning. I absolutely loved them. Hey, Rondo, how you doing, honey? She said, good morning, sunshine. It's dark out. I went to 7 a.m. and not 7 p.m. <laughs> oh, hello, Joe. Hello, hello. Joe, Joe. <laughs> my, my, my chair might be sliding a lot because I took the little carpet thing I have underneath the chair so I don't ruin the floor, but I got to tape it down some and I didn't and I wasn't able to roll in it because it was pushing up so I last second I quickly ripped it off and moved and then I'll tape it later probably to sometime this weekend or something before I go live again Hi, Foxy. hello hello all right so so far the only people we're gonna list is is Dino Lalima Delia Bupu um Brenda and Lori wants a time stamp. So you guys know the deal who's been coming around for a while. There's only a few people in here. Um <clears throat> make sure you put a one in the comments if you want a reading. I mean it's quiet now if you say something I could see it, but when the chat gets going sometimes that that pops out and I can see what it is. I'll give a minute see if anybody else shows up and then I'll I'll say my little spiel again. So what do you guys been does anybody have any plans for this weekend? What are y'all doing this weekend? I don't know who does and does not celebrate Easter if you guys have any plans. I'm hoping that spring is coming and rain stops because we have had nothing but rain, 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 rain. I want some fresh weather and get outside and be able to enjoy it. Oh, thank you about the pics. Happy early Easter from both of us and mom. Absolutely. I, I want to show them off later, but I want to make sure there's a couple more people in here first because they're just too cool. Oh. They're absolutely beautiful. So it's family. Ooh, Carolina. North Carolina and Connecticut are coming yeah. to your house. Oh, no. That's I nice. Have. It's the first time a lot of them seen your new place, huh? Oh, I'm happy for you. And you guys are, so you guys are, are like in the middle of the two, right? So, were you guys, how far are you guys from the bridge that collapsed? And I pray for the people that are, are still missing and the lives that were lost. That's absolutely tra tragic. And, and pray for the people whose um, jobs are going to be affected also. I know a lot of things have to get rerouted and changed. And, uh, oh, that's a big mess. That's a big mess. Happy Easter, Foxy. Oh, you're about two hours from that bridge. Have you been over that bridge? And the bridge was built in 1970. And considering the age of some bridges, that really wasn't that old. It really wasn't that old. I don't know. Oh, oh I did see an art. I don't even know if I should bring it up in here because I don't usually bring up politic typey stuff. I saw an article today. Um that the Mexican president is saying how horrible we are um, to our immigrants, immigrants, because they're the ones that will work at night. Um, and they're the ones that got hurt. And I wish I could tell him, well, my stepfather is a bridge inspector. So, and you know, he's Italian, <laughs> he's not an immigrant. So it's not just immigrants that works on the bridges, but that's a loss for everybody. It's lost for everybody. But I was kind of shocked when he said that. I'm like, what? That's not true. That's not necessarily true. But, oh, you've never been over it? It's two hours from the bridge. Yeah, I know. Oh, good. I mean, I don't know if it's good that you haven't been over it, but, well, at least you know they're going to have to rebuild it, and it's going to be bigger and better than, than ever. Yeah, they are saying that the Connecticut bridges are built um, different than that one, and um, they're a little bit better. And they said that bridge, even though it was built in the 70s, the cargo ships were, they're like triple the size than they used to be. So they weren't, it wasn't really made for anything that size structurally or, or anything. The stuff on that cargo ship was all imports. Yes. So yeah. I know that. Uh, yeah. Stores are going to be lacking. Yeah. That's what I was saying about the economics and people's yeah. jobs and stuff going to be 
affected. Yeah. We went to Barnes and Noble and saw a book about making druid wands. Ooh, I opened it and got chills from from my butt up to my neck, but in a good way. No, I know what you mean. That was your chakra talking to you like it's it was connecting. You could do it. You can do it. I would love to see the picture though. I would love to see the pictures. I have, which I haven't done yet, but somebody has given me some antlers, like probably ones like this long. And um, I want to make some wands out of those. I just haven't done it yet. I still have to go get some like leather and stuff for the handle and all that good stuff. I got some stones and things already. I think are a perfect fit and size for some of them. But that's my, my next goal too. And then I figure out if I'm going to do anything with the antlers or not. If I want to put rune symbols on them or just leave them plain. I don't know yet. I've had it for a couple of years. I'm still deciding what to do. <laughs> it's one of, and then one day I'll just have an aha moment. Oh, why didn't I think about this before? You know, <clears throat> I see that there's a lot of people live right now. A lot of us come from the crime community and um, I don't really want to talk about it here, but um one of the guys that went missing in Tennessee, um, he was a college, he was college age anyways, and they ended up finding him, was it last week or the week before? I don't know. I, I follow a few cases, and I think they're doing an autopsy on him again because they said it's unusual. They thought at first, because he was out drinking and whatever, they thought at first that he might have just fallen in the water, but now they, because he was found without his boots or pants on there i don't know they're it's a little suspicious so send prayers to that family that's awesome our native american friend buddy gave me some antlers also he is a photographer also Ooh, him and i are always out taking pictures oh that's amazing yeah oh that's cool like i said the ones i got i got one little full rack someday i want a big full rack but i do have one little one that I have. Oh, this chair keeps moving. It's gonna look like I got more ants in my pants than I usually do. <laughs> and it's saying my Wi-Fi is horrible. Mama, can you check in the hallway to see if the booster box is on? Because it's saying that my Wi-Fi is hellacious here, like going in and out. It could be the weather too. There's, it's you know, it's been raining nonstop. And foggy and yicky and gloomy. It's on? Okay. All right. I wonder if it's the weather. It doesn't usually affect the Wi-Fi, but it can happen, right? All right. So, so far, like I said, I got Dino, Lalima, Dini Wutuku, Brenda, and Lori. Oh, Lori wants a timestamp. So, I know Sean said he's having people over for Easter. Are you guys making the, tradi the traditional ham and stuff? What fixings do you got want with it? Do you make with it? I'm just one. I don't know. I just feel like something different because I've been eating. I make the same foods that I've been having since I was a little girl, except for my grandmother used to make fry a plate of fried eggs. Um, nobody ate them. So she ended up giving up making them, <laughs> but she used to make fried eggs. A plate of them. Yeah. And after today, you get two days of sun and then three days of rain next week. Oh, I need sun. I need sun. I mean, I don't care if it like had a little bit of rain and then it took a break and then the sun came out for a little bit. I just want to get some fresh air, be able to open up all the windows, go for a walk, do something. Oh, ham with honey and um, brown sugar glaze, carrots, asparagus, and sweet potatoes. Ooh, oh, that's what I forgot. Sweet potatoes. So you're here just heating up some food. I haven't even eaten yet. I had a little bit of yogurt today. I'm starving, actually. And I was going live. I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot to eat. So I ate a couple pieces of cheese. <laughs> but anyways, um, sometimes we make, we don't have a lot of people over. But last time we make two yams. Oh, you hear that sound? My dog's toy. So we usually make like a honey ham and then the, um, the, the same way you said you make it. But the, did I say honey ham? Hawaiian. It's kind of Hawaiian. It has like the pineapple on it. But we, instead of adding water to it, we put orange juice or apple juice in the bottom of it. 
and um sometimes like cranberries and stuff on it it's so good oh my gosh it I, oh it's amazing it's our favorite way to eat it i'll be right back sunset pick time there you go nice so yeah, Dino's here, so she's gonna be first. Is Lilima in here? Do you whoop who Brenda? I don't think anybody's in here that signed up. Y'all might just get time stamped and it'll be a really short one. Hey Harmony, how you doing, honey? Hello, hello, hello. How you been, hon? I'm glad to see you back, sweetheart. Harmony, do you guys celebrate Easter? You guys have any special food you cook? Of course, we do um, the mashed potatoes. And you know what we have for dessert? We don't have pie or anything. We make strawberry shortcake. I've always, always, any anytime we've ever had Easter dinner, our tradition is strawberry shortcake. I'm good. Today, for me, is Good Friday. Oh, is it? It's a Friday where you are already? Sorry. Good talk. I was thinking about going live tomorrow, but I was like, uh-oh, it's Good Friday. Should I? But I think most people are around, right? I finally found, I think I said on Tuesday, I finally found um, my past life regression papers. Um, I, I knew I had seen them, and I have a bad habit of putting things in uh, places I'll find it later, safe places, and then I never remember where I put it. And I put it in a folder that I use for if I was to do like um officiate a wedding or a funeral or something, a folder like that. I have no idea why. So I looked everywhere. I looked in the filing cabinet, I stacks and stacks of papers everywhere, looking through it that I need a file, and then I didn't find it there. <laughs> so I have it. No, I can schedule live. Because so I'm like, I know I just seen it, I know I had them. So I was thinking about doing it tomorrow, but I don't know. I don't know if anybody's going to be around or not. So, anyways. All right. Dino is in here. What are you ready for? Harry, did you want to read tonight? Tell Rob our spare room is finally all set up and waiting for the three of you to come visit. All righty. <laughs> you know, Rob, Rob might be preparing dinner. He was running around late. Yeah. Just cooking. yeah. He was running late. And um, just today was a little hectic day. It didn't bother me as much as like my mom had to go to my daughter's work a couple times. And then my husband had to take my daughter back to work because she's allergic to the gloves. They made her go to Concentra for workman's comp to get her hand checked. I don't know. They just told takes some allergy medicine. So everybody's just been running around. And I was here with the grandbaby. We do celebrate Easter, but we don't do anything like have Easter dinner or lunch. I wish we did. Oh, really? We do. It used to be back in the day is like you'd have a big family dinner like after church and stuff. But now um, a lot of times family around here just gets together and have a big dinner. Wow. Some people go to church, some don't. Don't take it right down. Did you start your list? Yeah, I started it. I was just getting right. I have it in my hand. I was getting ready to break down harmony. Sean, did you want a reading, honey? Sean, did you want to put on a list? Dino's Sherry. here, huh? Did Sherry want to? I know, Sherry, are you here, honey? Did she put a one earlier? Let me scroll back oh, up I and look. See it. I know hi. she said hi. Yeah, that's all I see. I know sometimes people pop in and say hi and then go on with the rest of the day because they're busy. I usually make deviled eggs. Oh, de ooh, pierogies. Yes, we do make deviled eggs. Pierogies, cabbage rolls. Oh, my gosh. Fried onions, small buns, gravy, and a cake. Sherry, I'm going to your house. Please send me the directions. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love pierogies. Do you make? I never had. That's not well. I've never really had pierogies made from scratch, except for I lost the recipe. Um, um, somebody, a friend of mine that was from Poland, gave me a recipe for a pierogi casserole. It was kind of like lasagna. Oh, it was amazing. And I lost the recipe years ago. It was the best. Hey, Charlie girl. How you doing, sweetie? Oh, you used to have a big lunch with family, but you don't anymore. Well, Harmony, when you get older, you can start your own tradition again. 
you know i think if if um it's great it's great to reserve the reason why the holiday is for and um but it's also a good way for family is really important to me so any chance we can use to get family together to me it's very important oh you buy them at church oh really mm. at the progies i was asking about the progies yeah what kind of cabbage rolls you mean that one's like stuffed with um i don't know i guess there's different kind of cabbage rolls ones we have around here is like hamburger and rice um wrapped in the cabbage and we cook sauce and stuff over it hey jenna all right sweetie you have to let me know how work went today hope it went okay i did see how your knee was bothering you i hope it feels better yeah, meat and rice. Yep. Yeah, we do it that same way. Mm. Ooh, I haven't had cabbage in a while. See, Harmony said my pop always has fish on good Fridays. When I was my mother used yep. to do that. Yep. Yep. Because you're not supposed to have red meat on a good Fridays. Oh, I forgot about that. It's Thursday today. Oh, okay. Okay. Ooh, for a second I thought it was Friday. Well, I don't really celebrate that anyways. No, that was like them. Yeah, it was Friday for her. Seven, please. Seven. <laughs> well, then I wish you blessings. <laughs> All right, Sean. She said, yes, we fish on Friday. Yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting to have a catfish. I've been begging for one for years. A lot of my family goes out fishing. You think they can get me one bullhead, just one? I've been wanting one for years. All right, Dino's here first. Um, here. Harmony's here. The other couple that um that signed up are not here. And Sean. So I think it's probably going to be Dino. Wait, did Sherry say? Sherry, honey, did you want a reading? I'm shuffling the cards I'm using for tonight. I'm using the Spirit Message Oracle and the Spirit Animal Oracle. Hey, sunshine. Okay, Sherry, honey. Yep. Sherry and sunshine. <laughs> my mama sing it to you sunshine oh you never really had fish on good fridays my husband's making my favorite tonight which is steak i forgot to tell him that there was mushrooms in the refrigerator I might have to have him grab me peanut butter toast or something because I'm starting to feel a little gifty. In a little bit, if I start to keep feeling icky, I might need some um, peanut butter toast or something. Some protein. I did. I had yogurt. <laughs> Plain yogurt. Plain Greek yogurt. Oh, I love Greek yogurt. Yeah, mm, I love steak. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm sure Rob didn't even notice it's in the fridge. If he doesn't cook with dinner tonight, and I'm sure he doesn't realize, I'll probably, I don't know, just fry it up tomorrow or something and eat it for lunch. No, they're already cut up. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you can put them in our pizza. Yeah, Harmony, that's what it is. It's my sugar, I can tell. And if your sugar goes down, uh, um, people think about eating something that's sweet, but really the best thing for you is protein. Yes. Yeah. And it keeps, instead of just spiking it up, so you temporarily feel better and then crash again, it'll even it out. So sometimes I'll have like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And the reason is the sugar will help it spike up quick and then the peanut butter will help keep it even. I guess that couple pieces of cheese I tried to quickly eat wasn't enough. <laughs> I'm just shuffling the card, y'all. And do you know my favorite dinosaur? She's first. Oh, and uh, Lolita? Is she still here? No, no. She popped and said hi. 
and she was gone. Hey, can you time stamp me? I might fall back asleep before I go to work. Okay, sunshine, not a worry. It might be. <laughs> it might be pretty quick. We only got a couple people on the list. here. Oh, is she here? Yeah. Okay, good. So we're doing Dino first, then Lalima, and then who's here next? Harmony. And then Sean. Sharon never answered, did she? Yeah, I put her down. She said yes. She'll oh, be after she Sean, unless somebody else pops in that was already on the list beforehand. But I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Ooh, pink milk is yummy. Pink milk? Strawberry milk? Maybe? Yeah. Cherry. Never heard of cherry. All right. Oh, no worries, sunshine, honey. I understand, love. Alright, we know. Hey, Mama. So, are you guys going to be around tomorrow if I do a live on past life regression? Or do you think I should do it like on Monday? I could probably do it Monday. I don't want to do it on Sunday, obviously, for good reasons. And Saturday, a lot of people are busy on Saturday and probably traveling and doing whatever something's telling me i'm supposed to be doing something saturday maybe somebody i know is doing something saturday i don't think i have any plans it'd be about the same time it is right now what time tomorrow yeah i said about the same time as right now like 7 p.m eastern i could do it another day if it's better for everybody because it's a holiday weekend. It might be a little wonky, huh? Yeah, maybe I should do it on Monday. But I'll let you guys decide. Charlie goes, any day works for me. Ooh, playing Uno. He said, we'll be here, but maybe playing Uno Attack with family. So what's the difference between Uno Attack and regular Uno? Yeah, you, I think you're right, Harmony. You're probably right, yeah. Yeah, I think you guys are all right. I'll I'll do it Monday then, especially since it's a holiday weekend. I know more people have the time off, but more people have plans. My husband last week forgets that he has tomorrow off because this Good Friday. Tells work he needs today uh, tomorrow off to take his mom to the doctor's, but it worked out. He doesn't need to take it off. He already has it off. All right, do you know, honey. Oh, let me try to cleanse these cards. Good. Yeah. yeah, that's why I asked him what's the difference between the regular Uno and Uno Attack. Uno Attack comes with a machine, but you don't know how many cards is going to spit out at you. It could be none, and it could be 14. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he was just saying. All right, I've seen the game, but I've never played it. Well, I've seen it in the stores, I should say. You remember back in the day when everybody played spades? Oh, I miss playing spades. Maybe that was just my hoodlum family. <laughs> I'm teasing. Kind of. Kind of. Well, they have Uno attack Jurassic World. Oh, the really? Yeah. The dragon is the mouth that spits out the cards. Yeah. Harry, doesn't that sound like fun? Something I can take, take 
Yeah, that's true because it's something different. Yeah. Yeah. In case you guys never notice that when I do readings, oracle readings, uh, message for spirit, whenever I use oracle cards, I never do reverse cards. There's no need to do reverse cards in oracle. At least I haven't found a set yet. Okay, so if you guys cannot see the cards properly, just let me know and I will show you the cards if you want to see them. Of course, if they're really pretty, I always hold up and look, oh, look how pretty that card is. Your nan is 72. We do we do push each other um around a lot. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. <laughs> All right. So the channeler, it says your body is intuitive. Listen to it. So in other words, your spirit guides are letting you know, you know what you should and should not be doing to your body. You know what's healthy and it is not healthy. So just pay attention. Pay attention. Healing guide. So I think it's your spirit guide letting you know, listen, it's time to really start taking care of yourself and working on your inner self. And that, that includes your body on the physical level and on the spiritual level. Focus on your health and choose above all else. What happens when we start getting stressed out and stuff? We stop taking care of ourselves. We stop taking care of ourselves. Butterfly, a breakthrough, your break through your limits. So I'm gonna pull some more cards, but I can I already know what your spirit guides are basically letting you know. It's time to take care of yourself. You know what you should and should not be doing. Um, we're really great about giving other people advice, but what about us taking our own, right? And it's saying all you gotta do is start. You know, taking care of yourself, get back on track, find that balance in your life, and and the greater things are going to start working for you. All right, because if you take care of your spirit, take care of your your vessel that you're in right now, um, it's going to rise your vibration. And once you rise your vibration, um, more positive doors will open up. More positive doors open up means more abundance coming your way. Kendra, hey girl, how you doing, sweetheart? Are you having the family over this weekend? I was just asking everybody. Oh, I used to, Sean said I used to be good at rummy. I have not played it in many years, though. Oh, yeah, we used to play rummy all the time. My husband and I used to play cards together constantly. We did it for years, whether it was with, like, his family or friends that came over. The times we played poker when we were teenagers, we won't talk about those card games, though. Well, I say teenagers. We're probably in our early 20s. All right. Ooh, see, fearless and bold. Listen, your spirit guides are letting you know that you have the strength. OK, you've overcome a whole bunch um, you, and, and it's time to give yourself some credit and about the strength that you do have inside of you. All right. And it says sandpiper spirit. Some days you're so stressed out. You forgot how to have fun. You forgot to enjoy things, at least not in a healthy, productive way. Elephant. Oh, two cards came out together. Elephant. Learn from the past. Learn from the past. You remember um, how far you've had to come. You remember your struggles. All right. Use those steps on how not to backtrack and make the same mistakes you did before. All right. Stag spirit. Take the lead. Take the lead. So now you already have a couple cards in here. Look, I love these cards from this deck. So you already have a couple cards here that are indicating, like, listen, time to start taking care of yourself. All right. You already know. You already know how to do it. You just need to follow your own advice, all right? And, and you're reminding you that you've come a long way. Um, it's not time to take a step back. It's okay if we go back a little bit, like we have our ups and downs, you know? It's okay to go back a little bit because you'll never be as far back as you once were. But so it's a lot quicker to catch up and go push forward. So just let you remember the strengths that you have. And they're trying to remind you that you have a lot of doors and possibilities that can open up for you. You just need to get back in that balance. So these are really good. And this is a perfect card to have come out at the end card. Okay. This, this the stag spirit, take the lead, take the lead. Oh, did I just mess up some of these cards? Yes, I did. All right, Gino, sweetheart.
Hold on, let's see if I can drop this light down a little bit. So Yeah, thank you, Lilima, for letting me know. I hit the um the microphone here. Yeah, see, oh, can you guys see it? If I Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know. I would have been did your whole reading and not even noticing. It's just Yeah, I don't think I said anything important. Oh, I did say what's the difference between Michigan rummy and regular rummy is Michigan. It plays only in Michigan. Let's clean your house. Thank you, Sunshine, for cleaning space. Can you guys hear now? Is it a tad bit brighter? Let me see if I can move this over a little bit. I'm trying here. I don't know. It's good. You can see the cards. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Lilima. Let's see what you guys have to say for you. I think it's brighter now. Flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. Talking about that balance. Think about what does a flamingo do? They always have one foot up. Helps keep them balanced. And they got such long, thin little legs. Always keep one up. And their top half of the body is so big <laughs> compared to their one little stick leg. They're up too hard. Well, because I got to make two rows. Yeah. That's why I said if they want to see them, they can let me know. Yeah, right. Let's see. Huh? Can you see how I brightened it up? Oh, you're going to hold that all the whole no, time? No, I'm not. I'm just showing you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle well, spirit. Well. Slow and steady wins the race. So listen. Oh, let me pull one more card and I'll start doing this reading. Ooh, ooh, this is good. So, Lalima, this is saying that the answers that you're seeking and looking for are from within. All right? Um, to... to Hold strong, keep that balance. That's what that's within you, all right. And change is not going to happen right away. You might not get all the answers right away, but have patience, look within you, make sure you try to stay steady on top of the games and try to be one step ahead and understand things are, are no, there's no answers that are too quick, unfortunately. Um, but but a lot of truths are going to come out that you've been needing to know face in here so that you can make the accurate and correct answers. Ooh, water. Allow it to flow and let that shit go. That's exactly what it says. Allow it to flow and let that shit go. A deer, slow down and give yourself some grace. Is there some recent stresses that's been coming up lately? The Chandler, your body is intuitive. Listen to it. And this kind of goes along with this up here. So listen, the answers that you're seeking for are within, okay? Um, I think some truth is going to come to light soon. If it hasn't already, um, some more is going to be revealed, which might temporarily, you know, take that <gasps> gas breath and, and it weighs you down a little bit. But listen, like the water says, what does water do? It stays flow and steady like a river. It's forever moving. Even the ocean's forever circulating and moving. So keep with the flow, 
Okay. Keep with the flow. Don't let it hold you back. Um, wash away what's no longer services you, what's not healthy for you. But also remember to take some dive downtime and be able to take care of yourself. Okay. This process is going to be long and hard, um, but it'll eventually get resolved. Unfortunately, not in, in the quickest, easiest manner, but they're basically letting you know, the universe is letting you know, like, don't give up. Don't give up. Oh, antelope spirit, spirit says, oh, look at the complete opposite of what I just said. It says, life is speeding up. Well, how is it speeding up? Let's see. Horse spirit, the freedom is yours. Oh, okay. All right. So this is, I had a feeling to pull a couple more cards at the end. All right. So what it's saying is to get to the conclusion, the answers, um, it's been long going. Okay. It's been going on for a little bit. It's going on for a little bit longer. Um, I feel like maybe some truths revealed or, or when I say truth, um, accepting and acknowledging how things were is your new truth. Okay. And some of those have been revealed and I have a funny feeling a little more going to get revealed before everything gets said and done and, and finally be able to get resolved. Once everything comes back full circle, it ends up being the way I'll make sure I lean this way. I realize it's brighter if I go this way. So once everything gets back to, to the new norm, um, things will start picking up. Um, and you're going to find that that's free, free spirit within you again. You're just going to have a little bit of patience. It's going to take a little bit longer. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> What's pink because of her diet? Huh? Oh, the flamingos. Because all the shrimp they eat. Oh, I eat a lot of shrimp. All right, Harmony, honey. I guess so. The flamingo is bright pink because of it. <laughs> You're welcome, love. Thank you for coming in today. All right, Harmony, honey. Oh, next level. Think big. You're moving to the next level. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, spiritual relationships and contracts. Rebalancing karma. You got the solar plexus chakra. Remember your power. These are all really perfect cards. These are really, really good cards, Harmony. So basically, you're getting ready to have some changes in your life. It's a new transition, which is good. There's going to be some positive good change, okay? Um, usually getting there is a little hard. Um, but why are they pink? You may have heard that it's because they eat shrimp. But the real answer is a little more complex. Flamingos and shrimp are actually both pink from eating algae that contains, oh, pigments. pigments. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, Harmony. I really don't care. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. We always thought it was just because they ate shrimp. That's a fun fact. Thank you, Harmony. So, Harmony, you're getting ready for some great change coming away. And it's going to spiritually uplift you. Okay. And and that's a type of kind of uplifting and change that we that we need more often in our life, right? Um, they're letting you know that it's going to help you balance things in your life. So you, you've been wondering how things are going to work out and the stressors that's been going on. You're going to find that happiness and they're, and they're reminding you, your solar plexus is right here is reminding you. Remember, because solar plexus, that's where you keep all, all your power and your strength with these right in your core, right? That's the solar plexus. So remember the power that you have within you. Remember that. So you got some good vibes coming in your future. Hey, chat, Jack. How you doing? She said, hello, beautiful soul, Iris, Mama Dears, and all the beautiful souls here. Oh, thank you, sweetie. You're such a sweetheart. <clears throat> I 
Ooh, the Canary Spirit. Sing your song. Ooh, Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. Eagle Spirit. Oh. Spirit has your back. All right. Think Hold about on. this now. Um, Think about this, Harmony. All birds, all birds are messengers from the spirit realm. Okay. Ooh, he did make the mushrooms. Oh. Ooh, thank you. A core for you. Mm -hmm. You haven't eaten. You don't want steak? No. No, no, no. I had a double stack of pancakes. Five brought back from McDonald's. Um, and pancake, steak. I already have it. Okay. Yeah. I know you love pancakes. Yeah, I had them right. I know. All right, so all birds of flight are messages from the spirit realm, okay? So just keep that, keep that in mind. So this is just reminding you, um, is reminding you that spirit is always around you, and it's a good time to be able to connect from your physical plane to your spiritual realm, okay? So pay attention to your surroundings around you because your ancestors and your guides are speaking to you and trying to open up, like open up your third eye to be able to connect. Okay, and that, that helps rise your, raise your vibration. It says, Eagle Spirit, the spirit has your back. All right. So all these birds have a, a different type of energy going along with them. These two are more subtle, um, loving um, in a spiritual aspect, um, knowing, understanding, be able to see things from a different point of view. And the eagle is a strength. They can see all surroundings around you. Okay. They, they know what's going to happen before it occurs sometimes because they got a good aerial view and they're strong. Their talons are strong. Their beaks are strong. They're, they're heavy. They're, they're, they're a powerful bird in the bird family. So this is really talking about your spirit guys really letting you know to start paying to your sub, paying attention to your subconscious, that you have a lot of beautiful things that are coming your way, a lot of beautiful changes coming in your life, um, and they're trying to help you raise that vibration to, to keep that peace that's within you. So you can take that with you into your next adventure in your life. All right, Harmony, honey. Oh, thank you, Mama. All right, next is Sean. You're welcome, love. Next is Sean. Sean, are you here? If you're not here, we'll wait till you come back. I know you said you're getting ready to go take some more pictures. Oh, if Sean is here and he's ready, I want to show his pictures that he posted on Facebook. Y'all got to see his pictures that he's done. <clears throat> he said, I have not seen three birds in a row like that before yeah yep okay oh, oh sean you are still here were you getting ready to leave to go take some pictures or did you go take them already no i wanted to show your awesome photos on facebook that you took i can't I can't lift this up all the way because of the ring light because i moved it oh i think the cat's trying to come in I just posted no, some up pics. Oh, good, good. We'll show them. Oh, All right, let me go in here and find it before I upload it. Not upload it, but get it right. Ooh, look at those sunset pictures. Oh my gosh, John, they're beautiful. Oh, they are. He does such an awesome job. Yeah, he does. All right, I want to show you the bird pictures that he did the other day. Yeah, let me make sure if I go this way. Oh, my gosh, the breathtaking. Okay. Well, honey. Hi. What you want, girl? Oh, you're watching? <laughs> All right. She always says that. She, and her mama says, she wants to get on camera. She, she's going to be a little diva when she gets older. I feel like I got something in my eye. Your hair? Oh, that's a possibility. 
I think it's the fan. Maybe I got a piece of dust in my eye from the fan. All right. Um, oh, I got to put my glasses on to see. So now I can get to the settings here. Oh, wrong one. Presentation. Share screen. Okay. Hey, Daily Boo Poo, honey. How you doing? All right. Oh, can you guys see that? Let me check. Is there a way where I can do this as the full screen? Oh, full screen layout. Okay. Now let's see if I can enlarge it a little bit. A so little bit. Yep. Yeah, because he posted the sunset pictures. Oh. See, somebody in there had posted underneath the picture saying this should be in a magazine. Perfect shot. It is. Look at that eagle. Oh my gosh. Tell me that's not amazing. Oh, look at it in flight. Oh, mm. Sean, they're beautiful. Oh, look at that. And this is right near your house, huh? Oh, look at those. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at that. Bald eagle. How gorgeous. Oh, look at that. Sean, they're amazing. Look at these photos. They're like picture perfect. Very, very cool. Oh, I love them, Sean. Look at that one. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. Do you see that eagle? It's catching the fish in midair. Oh, mama, you got to see this photo. That eagle's typing the fish in midair. Yeah, I see it. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to enlarge it. That, what is the chance of you getting that shot? Honestly, what is the chance of you getting that shot? That is absolutely amazing. I love it. I think I just went through them all. Oh, no. Look at that one. Ooh, look at that. I think that looks like he's getting ready to swoop, swoop in and go grab that fish. Oops. Are they fighting in midair? Oh, look at it. Yep, look at it. Look like they're fighting in midair, and you see that fish on the side. I don't know if y'all can see that little dot is the fish. <laughs> oh, wow. What's the chance of you catching these pictures, Sean? Oh, that's absolutely amazing. Oh, look at, look at when I catch the fish. Look at that. Holy cow. Oh, look at that shot. Absolutely amazing. That is breathtaking. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. All right, I think I went through all these. Yes, I did. Thank you for showing us those. Now, let me get out of there and go to these ones. These are the ones he literally just took. See, he posted them 20 minutes ago. Look at these pictures of the sunset. Oh, my gosh. John said there are about 40 eagles flying around with low tide. Oh, wow. Big bitch. Oh, of course. Look at Sean just took these pictures. Look at that. Oh, look at the colors. How beautiful. The color of that sunset means it's going to be nice tomorrow. No rain. At least that's what I was told. I don't really know your weather. Not here anyway. No, I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow. No, it's not. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Oh, I love this one. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, thank you, thank you for showing us. Thank you, Sean. 
My mom has taken pictures of eagles catching fish in the air also. They're amazingly beautiful too. Love those pictures, spiritual bear. Oh, how awesome. Thank you, thank you, Sean, for sharing. No, that's okay. I'm going to steal a bite of food in a minute. Look, I have rare steak with mushrooms and onions staring in my face. <laughs> All right. I am. I'm stealing a piece of steak. So I might be. Oh, let me take a little piece so I'm not sitting here chewing on it for five minutes. I just dropped a piece of mushroom. And the dog's sleeping. He's sleeping on my bag. Is he? Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, I gotta thank my husband later. He did a good job cooking that. Yes, he did. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I don't know. <laughs> oh, she said yuck fungus. Mm, yum. This is the kind of fungus I like. I even um in the morning drink a mushroom tea. How does that help? Actually it works good. For what? It helps you a lot of benefits. Oh. Actually, I haven't. I slacked off the past week or so, and I can tell the difference. Oh, we've always got fungus among us, then. <laughs> oh. All right, Sean. Oh, the dolphin spirit. This and that are true. All right, so um, they say that we're connected a lot with the dolphin on a spiritual level. And they even said that they're gifted and they can, they know what's going to happen, right? They're very spiritual animals. And they even say the dolphins are psychic. I don't really know how much that's true. But um, they're definitely on a spiritual level. All right. Oh, the cat spirit. Claim your independence. Oh, this is definitely have to do with you connecting with the spirit realm. Dog spirit. Be loyal to what you love. What you're doing, which you absolutely are doing, right? I feel like I should pick one more card here. Oh, lizard spirit, dream the world into being. Oh, these are perfect. So this is, you're right at the right moment in time, um, which has already started, that you're starting to bring those changes back into your life again that you need on the spirit realm and being able to, being able to connect, right? <clears throat> you're starting to get back to what Sean wants to do to be able to fill his spirit, to make him feel happy, um, but still having to do your everyday stuff that you need to do to survive okay and also um because you're starting to raise your vibration i mean you might feel like you're a little off some days and that's okay but your your vibration is um getting there it's getting back to where it is that you want to be all right in other words you're just saying like basically keep up the good work keep doing what it is that you want to do and you're able to manifest whatever it is that you want so don't forget the magical person that you are oh yeah they are you're right sunshine You have to try, like, the sunshine. You really got to try the mushroom coffee. I was absolutely mortified and terrified to try it at first. Oh, my gosh. And then now that I drink it, you can't even taste it. It almost kind of, like, has a, I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, almost like a chocolatey flavor. Like, if I was to put it in, like, a mocha coffee, you would never be able to tell there's anything in that at all. I don't know how to explain it. It tastes good. 
Oh, so yeah, you're starting to release a lot of things that are going on with you. Absolutely. I know it's not really your, your thing, but I really, oh, that's so funny. You literally just said that. Look at the card that came up. Detox. Absolutely perfect. Look up um, the dolphin spirit totem. I think the dolphin spirit totem is talking to you at this moment, which is absolutely wonderful. Oh, Sean, thank you for gifting five memberships. Thank you. Naughty got it just on Rose Petal and Missouri Girl and Bobby G Bobby Six. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, loved ones in spirit. It's time to purge, let go, release, clear your energy because your ancestors are visiting. But you already know this. You already know your ancestors are visiting. It's time to heal old limiting beliefs and patterns. And that's something that you've been working on for a while. That's funny. As soon as you start mentioning the word releasing, the card that comes up is detox. Pause. Take time to reflect and integrate. All right. So how much time did you've come a long way? You're doing, um, you're starting to get back on track to the things that you want to do that make, fulfills you, makes you feel happy. Um, <clears throat> but are you spending time with yourself? And the, the, the way I mean that is um, in a way of like meditating, finding that sacred space by yourself. So you can fully open up to be able to receive messages. All right, Sean, honey. Oh, I'm reading about March. Yeah, my bag's right on the counter. You should take a look at it. Oh, wait, did you say Relevant came in here before? Did you say that? Yes. Oh, hey. Um, hi, Shiny. How you doing, honey? Yeah, I see that so much. Yeah, exactly. The guides are calling you out on it. It's time. We make excuses. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. You can make time. I order it on <clears throat> Amazon. Hold on one second before I do my next reading, which is Sherry. Sherry, are you here? Sherry and the Dealey Hold on one second. I'm going to go grab that tea Kendra. I'm talking about. What about Kendra? She's on the list too. Sherry. Yeah, she's the last one on the list. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. All right, hold on. I'm going to go grab that. Yeah, by the time I get up, you're going to be back. Let me entertain you. Let me make you cry. We'll do some new stuff. How's everybody? Let me see. Yep, Sherry's here. Uh, I think Iris is doing you next. Sherry, hang out. Here she comes, brat. She don't, she I told time. you as soon as I got back, just be moved to their back. You probably, you probably After missed you. It in. I'm stealing another piece of fungus. <laughs> I guess he saw me. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> what is this that's up here? Why is that popped up there? Okay. Sorry, I'm chewing uh, in front of y'all. Hi, spiritual bear. I just saw your post. You said, why, hello, beautiful and beautiful. mama. <laughs> All right, so this is the bag I got. Can you guys see it? I ordered this on Amazon. I'll tell you which mushrooms are in it. Um. All right, so the seven benefits it has. There's more than seven benefits, but this is what it tells you on the bag. Helps boost immune system. Yep. Um, enhances mental focus. Uh, somebody actually, because of my ADD, a good friend of mine, 
um, telling me how she started taking it and how it helps with ADHD and stuff. And I'm like, are you hinting? She said, yes, I am. <laughs> Elevate your energy. And I haven't been taking it for like a week. So I, I do notice a difference. Um, beneficial beta glucans and some other nutrients. So I'm trying to said lion's mushrooms is one of the best. Yeah, lion's mane. Yep, it's in here. Oh, oh lion's mane. Yeah. So um I think you want to eat a lion's mane. And it's only one teaspoon per day. Um, why isn't it not tell? Am I missing what mushrooms are on it? Like it's right in front of my face. It's usually under ingredients. Okay. All right, turkey tail. She take. I don't know what that is. Um, red reishi. May take. Of course, I can't pronounce them. Mayans Lane, Mayans Lane, Main, Lions Main, and some cordyceps. These are the proper names for them. There's different ones. When I looked it up, I know one was like um, um, Deer Tail. One of them's called um, in the Lions Main. There's some other ones. I thought it had said on here which ones they were, the names that people know them by out there. Maybe it was a piece of paper I got with it. Either way, there's seven different ones here. There's a lot of great benefits to it. I absolutely love it. Tastes better than I thought. And this one this one has gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, no grain, no fillers. Laboratory tested and certified organic. And it's for immune strength and performance. The reason why I had gotten this one in particular, because I really, really did a lot of research before I picked it out. I wanted to make sure I found the a right one because I was told, like, be careful where you get it from. You don't know what you're getting if it comes from yeah. different areas. And so that's why I made sure I got that one I did. The name of it is, here. Take a screenshot of it here. And I, like I did, I got this on. I don't. I don't think I paid more than thirty dollars for it. And there's forty five servings. So it lasts you like a month and a half. It's it's really yummy. Hey Shepherd, how you doing, honey? They have some that are have already have like coffee or tea mixed into it. And you just add water. I. You get more for your buck if you buy it, just a mushroom, and then just add it to your coffee or tea. Ends up being cheaper in the long run. All right. But I did do a lot of research on it first beforehand. And I'm using it for a while, so I don't remember everything word for word anymore. I will get mine from a company that's coming soon. Oh, what company is that? Do share, do share. Or send it to me later. Oh, I will get mine from my company that's coming soon. Oh, you're having a, a company? Yeah. You're saying sunshine. All right, so I'm doing Sherry right now, and then Delia Wupu. Got Sherry, then Delia Wupu. Um. Then Kendra and then Sunshine. <coughs> Sunshine, I know you said if you get sleepy, so just let me know. I can bump you up if you need. Yeah, mine's a powder. Mine's a powder. I will send you the information to you later on my company. Oh, sweet. Yeah, definitely. Please do. Is Azura Green a big thing for ordering stuff? I have not seen any ads on Facebook from them in a long time. No, they're still open. I still get emails and stuff from them. 
They're still open. Sean, have you ever been to the warehouse when you're up here? I used to go up there. I used to um, get my orders, order from them, and then drive up there. They're only like an hour from here. And their building is a shape as a pyramid. It's very cool. They've given us tours and stuff. We've eaten there. They have a, a lunch, a cafeteria. We've eaten there. Oh, it's, that's an awesome place. They're awesome people. Do you boo poo? I'll have to. I'll find it and send it to you on Discord. Oh, good sunshine. Definitely share it with us. Sherry, are you in here, love? I want to make sure you're still here before I start reading you. I don't want you to miss it. It's in Massachusetts. It's um. You have to drive through. It's in the Berkshires. What's the name of that town? You have to drive through Otis. It's probably like 20 minutes from Otis. Is it Middlefield? Yeah. It's literally out in the middle of nowhere. They have some llamas and some sheep. I think a donkey. They had a swimming hole there that they made for the kids to swim in the summer. Say they got like eight yeah, about 8,000 products, yeah. I found out their essential oils are not exactly essential. I think some of them might have essential oil in the oil, if that makes sense. But when I first started out, I didn't really know. Oh, yeah, they have a warehouse, yep. I found out when I called a place to order years ago. My mother and I used to go up there and I was vending a lot. We would go up there all the time. Because oh, yeah. you pick out what you want out of there. Wow. Okay. Huh? Oh, how beautiful. And sometimes you don't know what you're buying. So if you get to see it in person, um, you can go find whatever the number is you're looking for and go pick it out yourself to see if that's what you want. So when I would go up there and do like a bulk order of um, pendulums, I would go up there and pick out which ones I wanted, you know? Yes, they have a Facebook community, so... But it's really worth it if you have a, a business ID because you save about 50%. Books are not as much. The more you buy, the more you save. Actually, I haven't bought for them since COVID, which is unusual. <laughs> I still get emails, though. Does Sherry? Oh, Sherry is here. Okay. Good. I'll do Sherry and then deal you woofoo. Hey, USA Baines, how you doing? Oh, seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. The bee spirit and the chameleon spirit are together. Ooh, okay, okay. So listen, you're going to get the answer. So this is saying watch and wait, and the bee spirit is saying sweet results await, and the chameleon spirit is saying act as if you've already have it, right? Change into what it is that you already want and what you already desire because you're going to help manifest it to get it quick to get it a lot quicker. So all this, so far, all these cards have to do with manifestation, which is great. In other words, all you have to do is, is visualize it, act like you already have it, and then keep putting the work in. Because it's saying it's right there. It's right there. And the B also represents... Um, new beginnings also. Oh, 
Oh, you got the sacral chakra here. You are worthy. Recess what you value. So it's letting you know to remember, say, look it. I'm worth it. I can do this. Look what I've done so far. I'm going to achieve it. Environment. Your environment, your environment needs a healthy change. A trip or move is coming. Oh, you got some good changes coming your way. All positive. Um, it's not too long. You don't have to wait too long. Allow it to flow and let that shit go. In other words, you got, all you need to do is literally be lying for what direction it is that you plan on working on. Don't let nothing else hold you back. Let it go. It's holding you back. It's, it's keeping you from pushing forward. So it says, allow it to flow and let that shit go. Sherry, that's actually perfect reading. I'm happy for whatever adventures you're getting ready to, to endure and run towards. All right, sunshine. I'm clipping on it real quick. Oh, will you send this to me in Facebook also, sunshine? I don't want to end up losing it. So then that way I can save it on my computer, bookmark it. All right, Sherry, honey. Thank you, sweetheart. My nose is itching. That means somebody's talking about me. <laughs> no, kiss a fool. I'm going to kiss a fool. Rob. All right, Kendra, love. You're welcome, Sherry, honey. See, Rhonda says, I believe it and you will achieve it. I need my nose to stop itching. Mama, let me give you a kiss on the cheek. It said I got to kiss a fool. Oh, kiss your mother. <laughs> uh huh. Well, you got to call Rhonda right away. Did he walk in there? No, I'm doing, uh, yeah. Wait a minute. You did Sherry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Huey Wupu, I'm sorry. You're next, Sonny. Um, Huey Wupu, then Kendra. Of course, I get all messed up. Relevant said, did you mute? No, can you hear me? Put a three in the chat if you can hear me. Teacher said yes. Oh, sunshine is oh, clean in space. In okay, good. Goody, goody, goody. It cleanse these cards a little bit. I would give the kitty treat and the dog. Just the one cat. The other one's not wow. in. Wow. What does the three mean? If you guys can hear me. Yeah, I said put a three in, in the comments if you can hear me. I just said you're loud. Look at all the trees. <laughs> all right, Neely Woofoo. Sorry, honey. I forgot about you for a minute. Oh, spiritual fair gave you a gift of them Oh, you did? Oh, thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Sean. Oh, wow, Sean. Thank you very much, honey. Sean sent me $20 on Venmo. You're awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I greatly, greatly appreciate it, honey. All right. Oh, she's the relevant set for headphones it's not working. Oh, your headphones. Is that your way of saying you're blocking me out? <laughs> oh, oh, my chairs. I told you all my chair was going to roll a lot today. Oh, look at that. I see a piece of hair on my food. <laughs> yours, you it is it. mine. It was long and blonde. <laughs> All right, dear, you move, honey. Thank you, mama. Yeah, sunshine, please remember to send it to me privately later. I want to make sure I don't lose it, you know. You already had it. Oh, you did? Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you. Sean says, make sure you hit the like button. Become a member. You can donate to Iris through Cash App and you can gift memberships. All ads, all uh, and all welcome here. Thank you, Sean. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I still don't, can't figure out my damn night map. I'm going to have to, for now, post all my links to the mod chat and Discord so y'all can start dropping stuff for me. You used to have a phone across the top. It's not, isn't it scrolling across the top? No, not anymore. Yes, it is. I see it. Where? It's not across the top, Mama. It's across the bottom. See? It says email iris rainbow things at Gmail. Then it says my cash up. Then it says my oh, there PayPal. It well, no, the thing is, my picture stopped. Oh. Oh, you might have hit it for a second. What does it mean? Yeah, no, I don't know why. <laughs> I thought I fixed Nightbot, but I guess I didn't. I don't know what happened. Maybe I should delete Nightbot and then put Nightbot back in there. All you do is just add Nightbot to your moderators. That's all you do. So maybe if I delete them and add them back, it'll work again. I haven't tried that yet. Then you'll never see him again. Ooh, the chemist. Ooh, that means you're making plans. You're starting to work on um setting up plans all right it says craving something new adjustments are happening that's good that's good butterfly break through your limit so you got some changes coming your way that's going to make things a little bit easier for a while it says clear your mind you're blocking what you need to receive okay so there must be still a situation um that's going on with the new that you haven't fully gotten the answer for it, okay? Um, and sometimes stress can do that. Stress can naturally build up a block on us. So a quiet space um, will help you be able to clear your mind and be able to get that answer subconsciously. Or or go to sleep and ask a question that you need to know every night until it happens. Some people get answers right away. Um, I don't know. For me, it usually takes like two weeks, depending what it is. I love these. Yeah. You know what? Here, let me show you what cards these are. I saw this on um, Facebook, and it was coming up for a couple of months. And I figured I'll give it a try. I absolutely, absolutely love this set. I love the next deck I'm about to use. I love this deck also. So these are messengers of spirit, and these cards are spirit animals. Both decks are amazing. I always thought Nightbot was a real person for the longest time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a bot. <laughs> All right. So you got the spirit wolf. Ooh, turn knowledge into wisdom. Oh, I like that. Turn knowledge into wisdom. And then you got the eagle, and that is being able to see all the resources around you. 
getting it from the bird's eye view and having that strength to come and swoop and take control and do what it is that you need to take care of. So not only are things are starting to go in order and go back to the play as normal as normal can be. Um, listen, you have really the spirit realm that's there with you, really rooting you around and helping you, reminding you the, that you have the strength to, to accomplish whatever it is that you set your mind to. Oh, white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. So the white raven is, um, my spirit animal is the raven or the crow. Okay. But really it's the raven. Um, the white raven is very rare. All right. So, um, there's definitely a connection between the spirit realm and the physical realm because they're messengers or God's messengers. And they, and they let you know that they give you messages and let you know how things are going to go. All right. Something's telling me to pick you one more, deal, you Wupu. I'm going to pick you one more. These are all great, great cards. Last but not least, oh, the Dragonfly Spirit. Truth transcends illusion. So a lot of truth comes to the forefront, okay? Sometimes it's hard and difficult to face changes that we don't really want to see and to accept. But this is, this is um, what you thought it was. And what the truth is really gets revealed so you can be able to accept it and be able to make those changes accordingly. All right, Dilly Woo Poo, honey. Oh, we've been doing okay. Well, some of us have. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. It's been feeling like retrograde has already hit. <laughs> And it's not even April 1st yet. All right, Kendra. I've got Kendra, then it's sunshine. Then all I got to do is, wait, am I missing anybody? Is anybody that want to be on a list that hasn't said anything? You don't have to be shy. Everybody here is welcome. I don't care where you come from or who you are. The readings are free. Okay, good, Kendra. How are things going, sweetheart? You got all the grandbabies? Okay, USA Baines. That's right. I forgot to write your name in before. USA Raj Raj Vinder, right? Yes. You thought it. Holy cow, I actually remember. And I think I said it properly. It's good as I can anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's your weekend. Oh, oh. All right, Kendra. We got some good vibes coming your way. Canary Spirit. Sing your own song. In other words, walk to the beat of your own drum. Pay attention to your surroundings, too. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. Ooh, that's tasting the fruit of life, too. Tasting that nectar. And, and the hummingbird is carefree also. Oh, two of them came out together. You got the lizard spirit. Ooh, and the lion spirit. Dream of a world into being. In other words, you're right there to be able to manifest what it is that you want. And that's your happiness. And the lion spirit is gener is a generous spirit. So the lion spirit is, is kind of the, um, what do you do when you think of the lion? You think of the head of the pride, that, that strength, but also loving and caring. Oh, these are awesome. You got a lot of good vibes coming your way. Good, good vibes.
all loved ones in spirit your ancestors are visiting it is time to heal old limiting beliefs and patterns in other words they're letting you know you're still holding on to some of the past okay and you have loved ones with you to help support you to release the old so you can make way for the new and get what it is those positivities that's ahead of you so you can get those easily get the grab on that abundance because you don't want old life patterns or thoughts or ideas to be able to hold you back air and look at it, it goes right along what i was just saying Stop overthinking and start communicating. We are our own worst enemies, right? What happens if we don't communicate? Ends up being a big blowout sometimes. Oh, giraffe. It's time to stand out. And that goes right along with this line card. You have the strength and it's time to stand out. Don't hold yourself back. Yeah, communicate and let people know, know that you can be seen. Show them how good you are. There you go, Kendra. She's like, oh my God, spot on. Whatever it is going on, Kendra, I'm not going to wood for you because this good vibes come in your way. All right, sunshine. You're welcome, sweetheart. It was awesome seeing you. Sunshine, are you here? I got Sunshine and then USA Baines. It's a fight in my head, though. Oh, I know. I, we are, literally are our own worst enemies. I'm not even kidding you. Like, I will... I will talk crap to myself. I will. And in a negative way and a positive way. My positive way is because it helps for me. Everybody, everybody's different, but I'm the type that sometimes I'm the type I'm kind of blunt and I will try to nicely call up people, but I'm very honest. All right. So people might think, take it the wrong way. Like I'm being rude or not, but I want people to be honest with me. So I, I try to give them the same respect that sometimes people take it the wrong way. But anyhow, so even in my own head, if I'm being down on myself, I'm like, Iris, cut the crap. You know, you're, you're feeling like this for no reason. This is why you should be feeling better. Like I tell myself to cut it out. <laughs> and I also will shoot myself down and then be like, Iris, cut it out. This is enough. All right. You felt sorry enough for yourself. It's time to pick up and move on, you know. So it, it works different for everybody. But I do. I have to. I am my own mother. <laughs> like I have to be like, no, it's enough. Let's go. Let's go. You know what you got to do to handle it. This is the stuff you're going to have to take. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and let's go. All right. I do. I talk crap to myself. <laughs> I don't suggest that to everybody, but if you have that kind of personality, um, sometimes you need to call yourself out on your own stuff. All right, sunshine, honey. Sunshine. Oh, look at two cards that came out. You got the seahorse spirit is watch and wait. Okay. Watch and wait. And the bobcat spirit is life is a mystery. All right. I'm going to pull some more cards to us and I'm going to give you my interpretation of what these two cards mean together. Ooh, cow spirit. The miracles are endless. And horse spirit, spirit, freedom is yours. All right, so listen, on these two cards, I love this kind of one. Tell me that ain't the cutest little picture. Okay. Even the horse one is pretty too. But anyways, <laughs> so between the horse spirit and the bobcat spirit, so not everything has come to play yet. All right? There are still things you got to pay attention to and watch out for um, so you don't have any, you know, bumps thrown in your, in your way. What it's saying is, though, that anything and everything is possible. And the last cards here are basically telling you that um, what, your, what your dreams are and what you're going to manifest is going to come to reality. All right? It's your choice to do whatever it is that you need to do. 
there might be some obstacles in a way. And some of those obstacles are yourself. Hold on. Some of those obstacles are yourself, of you being your own worst enemy, or you needing to pay attention to your surroundings. All right. Once you clear that up, everything after that is golden. Oh, it's doing good. He went to his last doctor's appointment this past week and they cleared him. And they basically said that nobody's ever type of injuries had. Nobody's ever gone back to work that quickly and healed that fast. My husband is stubborn. Let me tell you. No, not oh, look at So listen. So, so sunshine, basically with your spirit guides, I'm letting you know, um, you have your third eye and you use that to visualize your outcome, to be able to manifest it, what you want. Um, and you can get a, and you use your, your, um, oh, what's the word? Your instincts to let you know something is a right path or not so right path. Okay. That you have it within you already and use that. It says you are still on a learning path too. Okay. You're still on a learning path, which is going to bring you to greatness. Everything that you're doing right now is going to be a reason for the future. You might not see it yet. Um, might not understand it yet, but it's, there's a reason for it in the future. It says your environment needs a change. A trip or move is coming. But I think you already know what the changes are that in your life. And you already have an idea of what they are. I don't know if you take any action on them, but it starts off with thought. All right, sunshine, honey. Yeah, now it's um, Raj Vinder, honey. It's your turn. Are you in here? Oh, you're welcome, sunshine. She said, thank you, Iris and Spirit Guide. Raj Bender, are you in here? Yes. Okay, good. It's your turn, hon. Oh, oh, yeah. Fine. Oh, yeah. How's your kids doing? Are they starting to feel better? That's right. I forgot about that. And I'm the old person. <laughs> All right. Oh, hold on. Let me cleanse these cards. And cleanse these ones. All right, I got to grab this one because this keeps trying to fall out. Ooh, the wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. In other words, whatever you know that's going on in your surroundings, hold on to it and use it to your advantage. Okay? Yes, but now my daughter has a stomach ache for two days now. Oh, poor thing. It might be whatever is left less in, left back in her system still. I can't figure out what is wrong with her. She's only three. Oh, poor baby. So we a lot of us get our immune system from in our stomach. So a lot of times you're sick, it could be your stomach that. That still needs to get back on track. Um, so I don't know if she could, but um, 
a good plain yogurt, unless you want to put natural fruit in it, will be good to help get some of that probiotics back into her stomach. And that'll help heal her a little bit. It might be that she still has a little yicky in there. All right. Oh, you got, I got the canary spirit out here a lot. Sing your own song. In other words, don't conform and try to do what other people want you to do. Just be your best self. Just be your best self. Brown bear spirit, take a time out. So if you're not feeling yourself and, and you know some of the way you're thinking or acting is it, isn't yourself and out of your norm, give yourself a time out. Because sometimes we have to put ourselves in check so we can be level-headed and clear to make the right decisions that we need. Okay. And bears also carry a lot of strength and wisdom. And they're they're motherly. You know, like mama bear. Oh, look at this. Carnelian spirit. Act as if. So sometimes we have to. I know I said sing your own song, which is true. You don't change yourself for anybody. Sometimes, though, in life, temporarily, we might have to. What's the word I'm using? We might have to shift and do things a certain way temporarily as in like a survival mode. All right. So you might have to go with the flow a little bit, but just remember who you are and where you come from. Remember that strength that you have and what you care about and what you will protect at all costs. He said he's going to try it. Okay, good. All right. Oh, moth spirit, surrender now, all right? And this is a lunar moth, all right? So that means that and that will have to do a lot with um, connecting with your spiritual self to get those answers. Um, when you have a quiet time to be able to pray and, and be able to receive those messages to get those answers that you need and find that inner peace. And you got dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. In other words, don't fool yourself. Don't fool yourself. You might already have the answer. You just don't want to face it or accept it. Okay. All right, sweetheart. All right, honey. All right. The only ones left is Brenda and Lori to timestamp. So if anybody's listening in the background and if you're too shy, don't be shy. Right now is a great time to say you want to read it. They're free. Joe of uh, Spiritual Bear said, Joe says night, everybody. He's going to bed. But oh, you all still got me for a while longer. Oh, good, good. Have a good night, Joe. It's hard not to like yourself. Oh, it's hard not to listen to yourself. I know. I know. That's so true. Sometimes if sometimes if um like I said, we're our own worst enemy sometimes. Um and sometimes we have to force ourselves to say good things to each other, force ourselves to say out loud what we're grateful for every day. You can be going through a rough spot stuff is crappy and I have to even myself have to physically say um I still have this in my life I'm still grateful for this this is you know I woke up this morning I still have my 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 children are healthy you know um you know my husband's working back to work now like I have things to still be grateful for I have a running car I have a roof over my head I have to remind myself um of everything I'm grateful for because sometimes we are our own enemies and we end up feeling sorry for ourselves, which is okay. We're allowed to. We're allowed to have those times and those moments. But when we get in that frame of mind, we forget to appreciate the things that we do have. Um, and then we forget to tell ourselves how we're important. Why are you important? All right. When you're feeling down yourself, it's hard to say those things. So write them down. Um, 
and say them to yourself in a mirror. Say them out loud. Say it out loud. But you got to look at yourself while you say it and do it every single day until you believe it. You're powerful. You're courageous. You're beautiful. You're strong. You're loving. You're caring. You're a caregiver. You're a healer. Whatever it is, say those to yourself every single day. Hey, Karen. Of course, Karen. All right. <coughs> You're up next right now, Karen. I got you. Oop. Well, this card wants you, Karen. Oh, wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. All right. And, and that's really paying attention to your instincts, too. Like, you know, you know. People can't always pull the wool, wool over your eyes. Cat Jack says, I do my best to be positive and kind and caring person. My life has been much better since I got off the pity pot years ago. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And it's okay. We slip back into it sometimes. We do. And it's okay. It's okay. But um, once you come so far, you'll, you'll learn how to get yourself right back in there again. You know? That's why I say sometimes I talk crap to myself. Cut it out, Iris. Is it too late for me to work? No, it's not. <laughs> This is what you get. Oh, the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Yes, listen. The rabbit represents fertility and new beginnings. Okay? It represents fertility and new beginnings. All right? And to pay attention to what's hidden around you. Okay? Because rabbits are really good about hiding. And they're also loving and caring. <laughs> The lion spirit, be generous, be a generous spirit. Okay, so a lion is strength, okay, but they recognize strength and 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 the courage, and they're very loving and they're very good protectors. So the only thing is just like the rabbit, the rabbit has a lot of good things like fertility, it means fertility, new beginnings, um, changes that are positive coming especially since it's spring so a lot of them are going to start ramping up right now and the lines remember that yes you have that strength and that power and courage inside of you um just be careful though because your claws can be a little sharp okay but don't forget the strength that you have <clears throat> Laura's here. oh hey Lori. oh good we are good good I can read you next if you want, honey, unless you still want me to timestamp you, honey. It's up to you. All right, let me pull a couple more of these cards here for Karen. You got really, really good positive cards. This is really your time to get back, um, which it looks like you've been doing for a while, but you're going to notice it once the air and the weather starts getting warmer, you're going to realize you're going to start feeling that freedom again even more, okay? And you're going to start taking action. You got some new things coming your way. Oh, the deer. Slow down and give yourself some grace. In other words, don't be so hard on yourself. And as part of this is in the past, okay? Um, you're still learning from that about being kind to yourself. And, and a deer, one of the things about a deer, too, is what happens with a deer. Don't be that deer in the headlight, right? Where it kind of freezes you still because you don't know which way to move anymore. But that's your past. That's your past. Now you're going to start being kind and gentle on yourself and giving yourself some love and space. Oh, of course, Alice. No problem, honey. All right, a couple more cards for you, Karen. Oh, I did it backwards, and this popped out at me, so I'm going to pull this one. Then I'm going to pull another one. Inspired action. Take inspired action out. See? And that is literally right underneath the rabbit when I said things are going to start changing and moving quickly. Things are start, going to start happening fast very soon. That's positive. Oh, and the owl. Listen to your own inner voice instead of other people's opinions. All right. And last but not least. Oh, 
Oh, synchroni synchronicity. I always tongue twist her that word. I'm not sure why. So your destiny, you are on the right path. Everything is coming together. I'm telling you, as soon as spring hits and the warmer it gets, the more action is going to be taken. You're going to be moving in the direction that you need to be into. I see you traveling somewhere. I do. All right, Karen. Thank you for popping in. No, there are others ahead of me. Please read me last. I can wait. I'm not needing to be a timestamp. Just last. Okay. No problem, Lori. I only got a couple people in front of you, really. I'm, I'm basically at the end. All right, Alice. I can read you right now, dear. Alice, you came in right on time. Oh, Sherry said, thanks, Iris, and happy Easter. Have a wonderful night and weekend. Take care. Always Mama Darius and everyone. Thank you, honey. Karen said, yes, thank you. Travel, I didn't know, but you are always right. I'm telling you, I see you going somewhere. I am seeing you going somewhere. It doesn't mean far, but it could be an adventure, if that makes sense. But I do see you in the woods driving. Not literally in the woods. I just see trees on either side of you. Just feeling that breeze, like the windows open, and you feel that breeze coming in on you. I don't see mountains this time. I know last time I said I see mountains, and I didn't know what was going on, and I said that's something that you need. And when you see the mountains, you know, that is your spouse there, you know, with you, sitting with you, being there with you. Um, I know to you, some of the experience wasn't great, but there's something about the experience that you needed, even if it was that moment. Oh, you live in the woods. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe you just need to get outside and get some fresh air. No, but I actually see you driving with thick trees on either side of you. And it's a route. So it's not really a highway, but it's a route. So it could be just you going somewhere or or that moment when you're traveling along the road. Sometimes some of our best thinking is when we're by yourself in a car. I think so anyways. At least that works for me. So I, I see you driving down a road with... Heavy, heavy greenery on either side of you. And I, I literally feel the wind just blowing in. It could be because your car window's down. You know, when you're driving, you just feel that. And you just realizing at that moment, you're in your happy place. And that is going to come soon. Um, that's why I say traveling. I don't know if you're going to be going far, but I feel that aha moment. That like, this is what I missed. And this is what I've been needing for a long time. All right. I'm oh. telling you, it's coming soon. Oh, Tap Jack said, I've got almost seven and a half years this time. Yes, Bear, and learning to love the person looking back at you in the mirror. Isn't that easier said than done? Oh, it is. Sean said, if I may, something just telling me to put this out there. If anyone ever needs to chat about anything, I will always be here. If anyone ever needs to release from anger or depression or with help being sober, I will always be there to chat. Oh, thank you, Sean. That's awesome. All right. Oh, who was I about to? Oh, Alice. Alice asked for a reading and then. Alice or Lori? No, it was an Alice. Alice popped and said, I'd love the free reading. That was Karen. No, oh, I, I already, yeah. Look to be on a free list. Yeah. Are you ready, Alice? Are you listening? I don't want you to miss it. Well, Lori, if Alice doesn't answer, you're next, dear. <laughs> Play on this phone, so. Is he? Yeah. Always, yeah. I hope you like those mushrooms. Looks like you still have pants over. Oh, out there? Why don't you go eat, Mama? You don't want none of it? I'll overeat if I want. 
Okay, Lori, honey. Oh my gosh, my nose will not stop. I think somebody's talking about me. Won't be first, won't be last. Right? Yeah, right. The funny thing is, people talk about things they don't know about. They, yeah, they, they, how did I always say? They have a, a theory or an opinion and they turn it into fact. <laughs> I say it all the time. Opinions are not fact. Or maybe sometimes what you think you know, you don't really know. Well, I'll send you love and prayer, Sean, honey. Now it's really, really quiet tonight, Lori. Real quiet. And Sean, if you need somebody to talk to. Absolutely. Can't think of oh, Wombat Spirit. Be at home. Be at home. Be with yourself. Do what it is that makes you feel comfortable and secure. In other words, this is your safe place. Your safe place could be at a family member's house, uh, at a family member's place. Something that makes you feel at home. Um, it could be at church. It could be out in the woods or sitting by the water, sitting by the fire. What makes you feel at home? Be at home. Okay. And that's a great time to spiritually connect. It could be a, a certain space in your house. It could be in your car. Um, our version of what, where we feel at home the most um, is different for everybody. Cat spirit, claim your independence. Claim your independence. All right, Lori, honey. Ooh, the eagle. This came out a couple times saying this is good. Eagle spirit, it says spirit has your back. All right. So think of this. You've got the eagle spirit with you. They're watching out for you. They're they're watching all the surroundings and they're trying to pinpoint where the best direction you can go into. All right. And this an eagle is also a great protector. All right. They're 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 good at seeing a high area of view, see what's going on, and then going for it. And they have the beak and the in the claws to dig into whatever it is that they need. Well, let's think of it this way, Sean, because you're still in the middle of transition, even though you're starting to see the light. Um, that dark period, a lot of crappy stuff's happened, a lot of realizations of different things that maybe weren't so, feel so good. On the other side, you're going to notice that you're even more spiritually developed more than you were at the beginning of the journey, if that makes sense. In other words, you're going through a transition and ascension at the other end of that. Said, I've never heard of Eagle Spirit before. Really? Really? Eagle Spirit is a very powerful field spirit. You can Google um, Eagle Animal Spirit or Eagle Totem Animals. Career. It is time to pivot. Align your career with your purpose. It's your time to put into play what it is that you want in, your, in the same direction that you want it to go. Doesn't matter how old you are, um, how little you, time you've been doing it, how long a time you've been doing it. It is time to find that balance that's going to make you happy. Oh, these two cards came up together. Look at this. You got celebration card and, a, and the solar plexus chakra. Remember your power. Remember your power and your strength. Okay? That, that is your core. That's your core center in your body is your solar is your solar plexus, okay? And then it says celebration. It's already done. Celebrate your manifestation. So if you are still waiting for it to finish manifesting, believe it. Know it's already happened. Know it's already happened. So you got a lot of good things coming your way. All right, Lori, honey.
Oh, thank you, Tap Jack. Alice, are you in here? I got nobody else to read except for Brenda. She's a timestamp. Wait, I think she's a timestamp. I'll got to see if she has a membership. I think she does, though. I'm pretty sure she does. I don't remember. I'll go check and see. Oh, cool if she did. All right, let's see. Let's check it out. So I'm going to, after this live, because I did talk to you guys about it, I'm going to do the live on past regression on Monday because it's a holiday weekend. Um, oh, my member's right here. I wish they would let you type it in instead of going through them all. Yeah. Because I don't want to mess up by mistake and miss her. Do, do, do. Oh, there's Brenda. Yep. She's been a member for 15 months. Brenda. All righty. Yeah, I thought she was. I'm glad I checked to make sure. Oh, thank you, Lori, sweetheart. What was it? Oh, Karen, I'm going to do on Monday, I'm going to do um, around 7 p.m. I'm going to do past life what past life is and we'll talk. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the meditation and get you guys to build a focus. I have a smoker's voice anyways. <clears throat> and if I can't find my meditation, I will write one because I do have a meditation I use. Um, and so I'll give you guys, we'll talk about what past life regression is, what a past life means. Um, and then, and then I don't think I'll do the meditation, but I'll probably drop a link for a good meditation and I'll write one and whoever wants it can have it. Maybe I can put it in the description too of the meditation so you can figure out what your past life was. We've had many of them. We have many of them. And then, and the reason to do past life aggression, the reason why the, why it's kind of important is because it lets you know why and who you are today and maybe why you decided to pick this life path you're on also. Oh, Glenda, how you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I miss you so, so much. She, she is my she is my redheaded Rapunzel. She's such I know, cat. sweetheart. I'm sorry, honey. Message me if you ever want to talk, love, so we can catch up. All righty. I miss you, though. Um, Lord said I had a past life regression one, one time, but it was a long time ago. And like, if somebody, like I tell people, um, if you don't get anything, cause sometimes it's hard to meditate. It's hard to concentrate. I remember my first, I went, I went to go to hypnosis to try to learn to quit smoking. Obviously it didn't work. Um, and the whole time, cause I didn't know how to meditate. And the whole time I was saying to myself, meditate, meditate, just concentrate, meditate. <laughs> Worst thing you can do. <laughs> sometimes people just see colors. Sometimes. Um, sometimes you only see a few things. But sometimes you, only, yeah, but those few, even you see one thing, that one thing, um, will mean a lot. Maybe at that moment you won't get it, but you'll, you'll end up getting it down the road. Yeah. Yeah. And next time you might get yeah. four things. You yeah. And it's, I know I've been saying I've been doing it and I couldn't find, cause I've been teaching past life for past few years and then I couldn't find it because I put it in my safe place and I should know better because every time I put anything in a safe place, I lose it. It's me. I do it with money all the time. Drives my husband bonkers. Drives him bonkers. Oh, I put it in a safe place. Well, where is it? I don't know. It's safe. It's it's there. It's around somewhere. Well, good. So whatever info you got, maybe I'll add something to it, and then you'll have a better outlook. And always do more than one past life. I've done, I've done a few of them, so I've known a few past lives. Yeah. Energy here. Oh, he threw it away after a while. Yeah, I gotta get my whole list. I got him like written down a piece of paper because Lori always gives good suggestions. I think I might screenshot it a couple of them too. Strong just gave you one. Oh, what is it? Um uh, heal uh, energy healing. And he forgot the second thing. Oh. I wrote it How about we talk about energy? 
and sound healing. And that kind of goes along, I think, with one of the suggestions that Lori had. Pretty sure I was a weeping willow tree in my past life. That Jackson. You could have been. Yeah. Karen said, I'd like to know why the hell I picked this life. Right? <laughs> Oh, Julie Wolf, who said, I love sound healing. Me too. Me too. It heals your heals your spirit and soul like no other. All right. I think I, oh, wait, that's right. I just have to time stamp Brenda, then we're all good for tonight. And then I'll definitely be live Monday. I, I got to make sure I remember to post it. Oh, yeah. I don't need that right now. I'm putting this away like I, I don't need this, but I do. I need a timestamp, Brenda. Then I'm going to get off and eat my dinner. My steak, onions, and mushrooms, broccoli, and noodles are sitting right here just staring at me the whole live. <laughs> All right, Brenda, love. It is going to be 2 oh, 3 and let's see, 45. Two hours, three minutes, and 45 seconds. Um, I just pulled out and healed some blocked energy that was in my intestines. So now I don't have a blocked energy anymore. Oh, good. And then, and then you, listen, your stomach and all that part of your body is really, it holds a lot of your um, immune system. So if that's off whack, it'll throw your whole body off whack. <laughs> We'll have to do one soon on, if we do one in sound healing, I'll have to probably do the chakra one first and talk about that because that's a very important to align your chakras and, and sound will help align your chakras too and heal them. Me too, Tat Jack, me too. That's the problem. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Hey, love. How you doing, honey? Okay. All right, Brenda, I timestamped you. Um, so it's a little bit past. All right, let me change the time up here. All right, too, Brenda. Because you know me, I always start talking. Ooh, Brenda, stag spirit, take the lead. Ooh, you're taking control of some situation, which is good, which is good. And look at look at this picture. It's beautiful. Oh, coyote spirit. Trust in divine detours. So in other words, your spirit guides are letting you know that remember strength you have. You have to take control because things went off balance for a little bit. All right. Things went a little wonky and you're really not sure what to believe or or how to believe it. Okay. But don't worry. Things are going to get back on track and you're going to get right back on path. All right. The flamingo spirit. Embrace the in-between. Embrace the in-between between your spirit self and your physical self. So that means to heal yourself from within too. All right, last but not least on this deck, and then I'll pull the other deck. Grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. So if there's something that you've been thinking about doing, working on, thinking about making it go through your brain, you've really, really been wanting it, go for it. Take that jump. Take that leap of faith. You're not going to know if it's going to work out or not if you don't try. All right. If you don't try, then you find a different route to get to what it is that you want. Okay. Here, if you're in your stomach, you probably got to heal your um, sacral chakra. All right. Synchronicity. Your destiny. All right, Brenda, your destiny. You are on the right path. Everything is coming together. Like I said, take that leap of faith. You, you're starting on something you've been wanting to do. Keep doing it. Keep putting that energy into it. All right. Fire. Ooh, fire is a good. That What's fire? 
fire strength, fire is energy. Fire is that that light and that passion underneath your butt to get you get you motivated, get you going. All right, this is fire. Indulge in your passion. Spirit is lighting. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. I didn't read that. It says spirit is lighting a fire under your ass. Perfect. Take that action. Push forward. Divine timing. Let go of your timeline. Spirit has a plan. All right, move forward. Do what it is that you got to go. You don't have to force it so much. You got to take that first step and take the action. All right. Everything else is going to come together. So that's what they're saying. Spirit has a plan for you. So everything's going to work out just the way it needs to go. Oh, what a beautiful reading there, Brenda. All righty. Have you been sick, Brenda? Do you need to take some um, probiotics to help get it back on track? Yogurt. I've been eating a lot of yogurt trying to help myself. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everybody that came here tonight. Um, I always feel so good after I come on here. And I was having, I was feeling poof today too, the past couple of days because of my kidney and stuff. And you guys made me feel a lot better. Um, I forgot about it for a little bit, which is good. And I got some medicine for it too today. My husband went and picked it up for me. So thank you everybody who was here today. I will see you on Monday and Tuesday and next Thursday. Maybe I could do it one whole week, one week, right? Like a whole marathon out of it for every day of the week. I don't know. Y'all want to see me that much? <laughs> no. My mom's like, no. And that's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Karen. Yeah, Lori. Karen, maybe try having Reiki done on you. Just <coughs> Reiki practitioners online or in the area. Or I think, I don't know if Lori is a Reiki practitioner. I know my mother and self are, are both um, Reiki masters. And you can find myself or someone else to give you long distance healing. All right, you all. Have a spectacular rest of your evening. I know I am, so I'm about to eat that delicious, yummy, yummy dinner. Have a good night, y'all. Mm -hmm.